What's up YouTube, it is your boy JB and we are here today with a review for The Real Housewives of Orange County, season 16, episode nine, the episode titled Runaway Husband, you guys. So before we go ahead and jump into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other on my channel and are not subscribed to the channel, I'm gonna need you guys to do me a solid. Stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. Do me that favor by liking the video, turning on your notifications, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel. And you guys, with that out the way, without further ado, let's discuss The Real Housewives of Orange County, shall we? Alright you guys, so this episode we picked up where we left off at, right? So, I have a few issues, I have some things to say, right? Now I know that people are not the biggest fans of, biggest fan of Noella, right? And that's fine, right? I'm not going to sit here and say that I am a Noella fan. I just like Noella because of the fact that she comes at Heather, right? Because Heather and that pretentious, her pretentious ways annoy me. So that's what I like. That's why I can tolerate Noella, right? But I think Noella, can, Noella does a lot and she puts 20 on 10, right? Now, now one thing that I want to say when it comes to Noella and this situation with Heather, because we're still dealing with what happened in the last episode, and you guys remember, um that at the table, Heather started reading those cards, right? And I agreed that those cards were inappropriate, right? But I also have to say that Heather's choice of words about porn, though that was that was a terrible choice of words, right? Then I also have an issue with Heather about the fact that these cards, right? You went and told Gina, you told Shannon, right? About these cards, but you never once went to Noella. Once Max came to you and said, hey mom, I, Noella gave me these cards and read them. Once you read those cards, why didn't you take it upon yourself to reach out to Noella and say, hey, Noella, you know, so Max just opened up the gift that you gave her, right? Call her, text her, whatever, right? And say, Max, open up your gift, right? And I do want to say thank you for being so, you know, being um, supportive of Max, right? But did you read those cards? Because those cards were very inappropriate for my 17 year old daughter and you could have went and you know she, you could have said you know i can send you a text of what they say or i can read them out loud whichever one you want go from there and then then she could have um, she, now i don't agree with her being def noella being defensive right once heather started reading them you know she apologized but in the moment you could have said you could have said what you said I didn't know what those cards said, so I do apologize. And then when she read them, I'm like, oh, you couldn't have been like, oh my God, Heather, I am completely sorry, right? But hey, it's equal fault on both sides, right? Noella should have read the cards and Heather should have said something to Noella prior to going to Cabo, right? So Noella, she at one point got upset with Gina, right? And Gina left. I still don't understand why she got upset with Gina I guess she's upset with Gina because Gina knew about this and didn't tell her, but that wasn't Gina's place to tell you. So I don't really understand what she's upset about. It makes no sense to me. So Emily at one point was talking to Noella. Noella said, go check on Gina. I was like, wow, how, how fucking rude is that to go check on Gina? Baby, I would have cussed Noella up down left to right go check on gina who, who are you talking to like whoa, 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 excuse me yeah she would have got cussed out all right you guys so we're gonna move on all right you guys so we're gonna start up with we're gonna talk about jen jen is so fucking boring i am so sorry to say that but jen if anybody likes jen sorry to tell you but your girl is boring her scenes Granted, I got three different scenes, but each scene was more, more boring than the rest, the, the last. So this first scene we see with Jen, Jen is out for Manny and Patty's with her daughter. Her daughter has more personality than her, right? Your daughter has more personality than you. The fact that your daughter said, <laughs> you, she picked for you to, you know, I went to get your nails done, right? You asked her to pick a color for you, right? She picked black black is basic and your daughter knows that you're bland and basic that is terrible that is terrible it's really sad that this baby got like i said it's sad that this baby got more personality than her mother 
I question, was Jen a last minute casting decision? Because that's what it's giving me, that Jen was a last minute casting decision because I, th I wonder if they were initially gonna go with Nicole and all that rouge on her face. That's what I'm wondering. Were they gonna go with Nicole for a housewife? But from what I've heard, because we, we're not gonna see no Nicole anymore this season, right? Because Nicole refused to get vaccinated. So they stopped filming with her. So is that what happened? Was Nicole supposed to be the housewife? And when she refused to do the vaccine, they then said, let's make Jen a actual housewife. Because Jen has no storyline. Has no storyline. Like, I enjoyed her daughter so much more than her. They talk about the nanny. The daughter likes nanny. She feels like she has a mother vibe. I was like, girl, the fact that your child is sitting here telling you that this nanny has a mother vibe and you're her mother, that should speak volumes to you. Just saying. So then we see later in the episode that her family, they went out for a end of the summer dinner and didn't invite her. So she's with Heather. Oh God, you got pretentious and you got boring in the scene. And I wasn't paying attention, really wouldn't. The most that I can tell you from that scene is the fact that Jen was talking about the fact that Ryan, her husband, gave her compliments the night before Heather was like, did he, did you tell him that that's what you like to hear? She didn't tell him, so she's going to tell him later. I was like, what? What the hell is going on here? This makes no sense. I'm, 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 I was bored out of my mind listening to both of them talk. More specifically, Jen. Like I said, Jen just has no storyline. What is she on this show for? I just don't get it. I really don't. So then the last scene with Jen is we see her and Ryan together. They could have kept this scene too because it was very cringeworthy. It's the way that he was talking to her and rubbing her hand. You did good today. It's kind of like you're talking to an uh, animal, right? Good boy. You had a good day today, right? It's just, it just kind of felt like it was, he was talking to the... It literally felt like... Because mind you, this whole entire time, he has Mr. the dog, Mr. Puppers, and he's holding the dog, right? He's petting the dog and giving the dog more, literally giving the dog more affection than his wife. I'm like, you don't see that he treats his dog better than you? He treats the dog as if it's his wife and it's a human. He treats you like you are the dog and not a human and his wife. <laughs> And at one point, he got upset with, I don't know, again, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I wasn't paying the closest attention to their scene because it was boring. But I know he got mad. He left. I don't know why. But his, dem his demeanor is very off-putting. I just couldn't be in the presence of someone like that. But hey, let's move forward. All right, you guys, let's talk about Heather. It ain't really much with Heather. We just saw Heather and Gina. So they went out for lunch, right? So they're talking about the fact that the kids are looking at colleges, right? And um, shout out to Heather, because I know I just saw yesterday or the day before that her daughter Coco, I believe that's who it is, her 15 year old, has come out as a lesbian. So shout out to her, right? So Heather, they're, they're talking about the colleges, right? And you know, Gina talks about what college she went to. She went to school in Albany and Syracuse. And she's talking about it was colder in Albany. But in the New York cold period, I'm just asking. Not being funny. So Heather tells her that, hey, so me and the kids, we're going to be going out to New York to look at some schools. Want to come with? Gina says, cool. Challenge Gina will go anywhere, right? Especially if Heather is involved. So then they talk about Cabo and how Gina felt about the fact that Noella questioned her integrity, that it really hurt her, right? I understand that for, I understand that it hurt her feelings, right? But um I would let I would have been like just let it roll out the back, right? You wanna question me, that wasn't my place to tell you. That was for her to tell you, not for me. So I would have said, skedaddle. <laughs> like you're mad at me because I didn't tell you what she told me. That wasn't my place and I'm not gonna get myself involved in somebody else's drama. The fuck? No, he's not. He is not going to do that. All right, you guys, let's keep going. 
All right, guys, next up, let's talk about Shannon. So we see Shannon and John at his place that is on the water. Ooh, I just could never do a house or a boat. Anything that's on the water, I just, I don't think I could do it, right? Because I would just feel, nope, couldn't do it. Because I would have so many fears. But um, they're going to host a party, right? And they're going to, it's going to be a couple's thing. So Heather and Terry are coming over and Shane and Emily are there as well, right? So in this scene, we see them on the boat. They look like they had a good time on their boat, right? And then they went and had dinner, right? So during dinner, it was really interesting, right? During dinner, you know, um, John was talking about his father, right? Because they were talking to one, the two, the, the guys that were cooking for him, right? They're both brothers, right? So Terry asked him, do you guys, you know, um, are you guys full blood, you know, are you guys half brothers or do you guys have the same mom and dad? They said just to ha they have the same dad, right? So then Terry talked about his dad and then John talked about his. So, well actually Terry talked about his stepdad and we'll talk about that in a minute, right? John talked about his dad and the fact that his dad basically has disowned him. He didn't say why his dad disowned him, but he's named after his dad, right? And his dad had, I think his dad had three other women, you know, two other women besides his mother, right? So he has other kids. He named one of his other sons, John, as well. I was like, ooh, that's terrible. That is terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> um, so then, you know, Emily and um, Terry were talking about their parents, right? Terry was talking about how mean his stepfather was, right, and how that motivated him to be a different person, right? And, and, you know, he went to college. That's why, I guess that's why he's as ambitious as he is. And Emily says the same thing about her, you know, the fact that her dad wasn't in her life, that her parents divorced when she was younger. And the fact that, you know, when she went to college, law school, that was basically her way of seeking validation, right? And she wants to be better for her kids than her parent, her dad was for her. And then we later see an episode where Shannon, Emily, and Noella went out to eat, right? They went to the um, the quiet woman. This isn't my fucking plate, you fucking bitch. That scene. This isn't my plate, you fucking bitch. And she, I mean, she, she, she just threw this shit. Granted, it was at Kelly Dodd, who I don't give a shit about, but this isn't my plate, you fucking bitch. <laughs> that scene goes down and I mean, it, it is iconic to me. Might not be to you guys. So we find out that Emily and Noella had had a conversation, you know, maybe two days prior, right? And they talked things out and, you know, um, Emily has invited Noella over to her home for game night, right? So then Noella joins them and I think it was Emily who brought up the fact that Jen said that, you know, as a wedding present to her husband, that she presented him with a stack of vaginas. I thought, see, for the longest for the bed, I thought she was saying sack of vaginas. I was like, what in the hell is a sack of vaginas? But then I was like, oh, she's saying stack of vaginas. But then I said, what the fuck is a stack of vaginas? Leave it to Noella. She showed us what a stack of vaginas was. It was one woman, it was one woman right here, another woman here, Noella at the bottom. So did y'all have a menage? Did y'all have a, a group orgy? Did y'all have an orgy? Why am I making that face? <laughs> Why am I making that face? Because I'm not judging. Because I'm not going to give you my business. Why am I judging? Because I've done an orgy before. Why, Why did I make that face? Don't know why I made that face. I guess because I'm looking at that picture, because that picture, that's, I think it really, what it is, is the fact that they showed that picture, I was like, y'all really showed, okay, but I, like I said, it was one woman here, one woman here, no on the bottom. Oh, I know I was making that face, because I was picked, I was thinking in my head, like, how in the hell did this, like, what happened? So... Like, I'm thinking about it. So, it's James, it's Noella, and it's two other women. So, how did this happen? <laughs> like, I, I know how it happened. I'm being, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I know how it happened. I'm trying to figure this out. Like, so, we're, the, like, at one point, was Noella with one, 
that's probably what it was. At one point, Novella was probably with the one. Well, no. That's interesting. I would have loved to see. I would probably could picture myself trying to see. I'm trying to picture how it happened. That's why I made that face. I was trying to picture how it happened. I was like, why did I make that face? Because I'm trying to picture it in my head. You got James. So probably one woman was riding on top of him. You know, you could have a woman on his face. And then another. Well, no. So let's think. I can't, pic I can't picture how this happened. I'm, it's got to be the, the, the latter. He with one woman, Noella with another woman, and they switch. Who knows? But hey, they had a stack of vaginas. Like a pancake. All right, guys, so we're going to move on to wrap up the episode. I didn't mean to go too deep into that tangent. I was just really trying to picture it. <laughs> I was trying to picture it, you guys, my bad. All right, you guys, so Emily. We see Emily, so she's having game night, right? Everyone was there with the exception of Jen and Heather, right? So they had a good time, right? They talked about having fireballs at the quiet woman, right? And then they talk about the stack of vaginas, and they reenacted the stack of vaginas. I forgot to mention that with the stack of vaginas, um, you know, they were trying to guess who Noella was. Shannon got it. Um, y'all are good friends now because y'all have saw this woman's vagina. So then, eventually, Noella and Gina had a conversation about what happened in Cabo. I don't know how they got anywhere with this conversation because, literally, they were talking over each other. But, hey, they settled the issue. I just don't know how because, literally, and it was really mostly Noella. Like, anytime Gina would say something, Noella would kind of talk over her. So I was like, how did y'all get anywhere? But, hey, if you guys say you got somewhere, you got somewhere. And that's it. That's really it, you guys. But hey, that's it, you guys. Um, yeah, that's it for the episode. Leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, you guys. Um, turn your notifications on. I said that, and stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear a mask, socially distance, be blessed, and I'll catch you guys later. So tomorrow is Friday. Um, I'm thinking. So you guys are gonna get the regular shows, growing up hip hop, and rounds off Miami. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to watch, because um, I didn't watch it last night, Married at First Sight. I'm going to watch Married at First Sight today at some point, take my notes, and then hopefully I can have that up for you guys tomorrow. That's my plan. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. And I got to do Hot Topics because I'm so, I, don't, I haven't done Hot Topics in a, few, in a while. So, yeah, I'll see you guys there.